Number 15. Indicate the most important type of intermolecular attraction responsible for solvation in each of the following solutions. And then we have the solution in figure 11.7, which I put a beautiful picture down here. This is the figure 11.7. So now we just have to find out, well, what's in this solution? Well, it seems like we got a bunch of potassiums, right? KCl, KCl, KCl. So we definitely have KCl in here. And then we have this uh, molecule that has one red uh, in, the, in the middle and then two whites on the outside. So they're telling us that here the red is oxygen and these whites are hydrogen. But for each one of these molecules, I have two hydrogens, two whites per the one red, right, molecule. So I have H2O. So we got tons of waters in here right? So we have KCl in H2O. Now we just have to figure out um, what type of intermolecular attraction is responsible for this. But um, the first thing to identify here is just what types of compounds these are. Now KCl is a metal, right? Potassium is the metal and chlorine is a nonmetal. Um, this could be found out on the periodic table, right? Potassium is in group one. Everyone in group one is a metal except for hydrogen. And your halogens, which are chlorine, right? Group 7A, 17, um, they're all nonmetals. So we got a nonmetal and a metal. That's an ionic compound. And then we have water, right? Water is covalent because oxygen and hydrogen are um, both nonmetals. And water, right, if I split a water molecule down the middle, I like this one right here. So if I split this right down the middle, this way, seems like it's not symmetrical. I have the two white hydrogens on the bottom, but no hydrogens on the top, right? Ooh, that was kind of cute. Those are like little cat ears. <laughs> Um, but there's a uneven distribution of electrons here, right? If I have the hydrogens on the bottom, where are they on the top to cancel out? Remember that water is a polar molecule because it's asymmetrical. And all polar molecules will always have a dipole, dipole attraction. Well, we'll say here, not a dipole-dipole attraction, -dipole but all polar molecules will have a dipole. I can't say that this is a dipole attraction um, because we're not necessarily talking about the relationship between two water molecules, right? We're talking about the interaction between the KCl and the water. But in this case, whenever you see that you have an ion, chances are, or an ionic compound, chances are that the intermolecular force is an ion, coming from the ionic compound, dipole, coming from the polar um, solvent. So in this case, the most important type of intermolecular attraction is the one between the ionic compound and the covalent one. This is called an ion dipole interaction. And these are when you have metals with a polar um, a uh, polar uh, solvent like water. So this is an ion dipole attraction. And that is the answer. Let's box it off and call it a video. That was fun. I hope this helped. Let's just color, color, color. Okay, cool. So what'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. Have an awesome day. Keep studying hard. Always keep learning. And I will talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.